Super Waterweights coming away. Fighting out of the blue corner. Weighing in at 153 points. I think your favorite amateur referee grew his hair a little bit. He doesn't look like a Jeff Liddell look like anymore. <laughs> he doesn't. He's trained by <laughs> Phil Dunlop and fights out of AFL. A good crowd here tonight. Excellent crowd here once again at the Showboat Casino in House of Blues, New Jersey. Eric McQuinn. Fight number four, super welterweight, 147, 153.9 pound division. House of Blues, Showboat Casino, Atlantic City, New Jersey. New Blues Fighters 11, March Mayhem, making his way to the ring. Eric Macris, 0-0, another rookie for the New Blues Fighters at the AFS Team Asylum. Team Asylum is led by trainer Phil Dunlap. Just remodeled his school up. They're based out of Mawa, New Jersey, which is North New Jersey. Phil's been around the pro scene, the amateur scene in New Jersey for a long time. And fighting out of the right corner, weighing in at 150 pounds. Phil actually has the school attached to his house, so that's pretty good. Working Make at home. There you go, nothing like working at home. Massimo Barilla and fights out of LA Boxing. Let's hear it. For Wade Dix. Making his way out of the red corner from LA Boxing, Wade Dix. Coming in with a rookie record, 0-0. In uh, two weeks at the Tropicana, we have Shane Ott, who started at this amateur program. IFL veteran fighting Carlton Hasselrig, who's making his MMA debut, the former uh, three-time Division one wrestling champion and all-pro guard for the Pittsburgh Steelers. I'm looking forward to that event. I'll be there with you, Nick Lumbo. That'll be Battle Cage Extreme, April 19th at the Tropicana Casino and Hotel Resort. Great to see these guys getting a lot of fights, honing their skills in the amateurs, and then having yeah. Jellica with a ring card girl, ring round number one. And a our liquid lightning girls throwing out those sea shirts into the ring. Again, a new addition to New Breed Fighting. And a good one at that. Started here. Fight number four, super welterweight, 147, 153.9 pound division. Our ring official will be Dave Roski. There's a lot more weight classes in the amateurs. Uh, try and discourage weight cutting and dehydration. It's a weight class about every six pounds in the amateurs. Mike Polano with Nick Lembo, Newbury Fighters 11. Oh. Showboat Casino, House of Blues. Oh, 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 big right hand. Finishes it early. Oh, my. Started with a left. And it's hit him. Wow, that's got to be a new breed record oh, for a knockout. Fight, fighting the referee. Doctors in the out. Got Dr. Michael Kelly and Dr. Stephen Oxer, two very experienced pro ringside physicians, checking them out. Wow. Uh, quick victory. Very happy about that one. Eric Macris moving the 1-0 oh at an AFS Team Asylum over a quick victory with a big right hand over Wade Dix from LA Boxing going to 0-1. Oh that is one of the most impressive knockouts I've seen here in New Jersey Fighters. Yeah, it has been. No opportunity there to work on submissions. That never no. went to the ground. You know, I, I was talking to Alexis from Rhino Fight Team. He was with us for the first couple of fights, Alexis Aquino. And we were talking once again about the uh, Matt Serra uh, and George St. Pierre fight. You know, and it was one punch is all it takes in, in either amateur or pro mixed martial arts. 
I do not think that George, uh, George St. Pierre, or I'm sorry, I don't think that GSC will lose to Matt Sarah again the way he lost last time. What do you think about that? Are you free to comment? Not really. I can't, I can't pick favorites. They're both great ambassadors for the sport. And uh, Matt Sarah actually started in New Jersey on uh, Lou Neglia's Ring of Combat shows. He started there, Josh Koscheck, uh, Pete Sell, Chris Ligori, a lot of UFC veterans started on the Ring of Combat here in Jersey, so very familiar with Matt. There's no way I can root against Matt. Right on. Blue Corner for Eric Smackers! Nice sign of sportsmanship there by the fighter and his trainer, Phil Dunlap. Absolutely, we like to see that on any level.